Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on percentage saving in weight. So let's get started. Now here the question is a hollow shaft having an inside diameter 60% of its outer diameter. I'll write the data. Inside diameter for the hollow shaft would be denoted by small d and it is 60% of outer diameter which is capital D so that becomes small d is 0 0.6 times of capital D for the hollow shaft is to replace a solid shaft transmitting the same power means here we have to replace the solid shaft and in place of that use the hollow shaft the power is same as mentioned over here so I will say that power transmitted by solid shaft is same as power transmitted by hollow shaft at the same speed so even the rpm is same so n denote that is the rpm of solid shaft is same as that of hollow now remember whenever power and rpm are same because power is given by the formula 2 pi nt upon 60 so when we have power and rpm same even the torque remains same so i'll write down that the torque transmitted by solid shaft is same as the torque transmitted by the hollow shaft calculate the percentage saving in material that is nothing but the percentage saving in weight if we are using hollow in place of solid if the material used is also same when they are saying that the material is same it means the stress value and here the shear stress for solid and hollow shafts are same so i'll write down that tau which is the shear stress in solid shaft is same as the tau value in case of hollow shaft for the material being same now when these conditions are given let us try to find the percentage saving in weight into the solution part first here i'll write down let capital D suffix S be the diameter of solid shaft in terms of mm and now as the conditions are given into the problem I would be using the strength criteria because tau is given as same so I will say that since based on strength criteria It is given by T by J is equal to tau by R and therefore here the torque and tau values are same so I will keep this equation as T upon tau is equal to J upon R. Next, I would be using this same equation separately for solid and hollow shafts. On to the left side, I would be calculating for solid shaft. Since this same equation, T upon tau for solid is equal to j by r for solid so therefore j for solid shaft it is given by pi by 32 capital D or outer diameter raised to 4 since this is a solid shaft and the diameter is denoted by d suffix s so it is d suffix s raised to power 4 and the radius is for the solid shaft d suffix s divided by 2 so therefore here on cancellation this would become pi by 16 and here we have ds cube so for solid shaft i am getting the value of t by tau as it is pi by 16 d suffix s cube keeping it as the first equation similarly on to the right hand side here I would be calculating for the hollow shaft
using the same criteria t upon tau for hollow now j for hollow shaft is given by pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 divided by radius is the external radius which is outside diameter divided by 2 and how this formula of j for solid that is the polar moment of inertia for solid shaft and for hollow shaft comes from for that you all can refer my previous video in which i had explained the concept behind the polar moment of inertia for solid and hollow shafts now after cancellation this becomes pi by 16 and when we see here into the question they have given small d is 60 percent that is 0 0.6 times of capital d for hollow shaft so i would be putting the value of small d so therefore we have pi by 16 capital d raised to 4 minus in place of small d 0 0.6 capital D whole raised to power 4 divide that by capital D so here the coefficient of this D raised to 4 is 1 so 1 minus 0 0.6 raised to 4 I will write down that it comes out to be that is the T upon tau value for hollow shaft it would be pi by 16 into the answer of the bracket is 0 0.87 capital D raised to 4 divided by D because the answer of 1 minus 0 0.6 raised to 4 is 0 0.87 it is and then it is D raised to 4 divided by D so after cancellation so here I am getting T upon tau for hollow it is pi by 16 into 0 0.87 multiplied by capital D cube and here capital D is the outer diameter for the hollow shaft that becomes equation second now in equation 1 we have t upon tau and similarly in equation 2 both are same because it is mentioned in the question that the power and rpm are same so the torque is same and material is same it means tau is same so hence I will say equating 1 and 2 so therefore here we have pi by 16 d suffix s cube and over here pi by 16 0 0.87 capital D cube pi by 16 pi by 16 gets cancelled out so finally taking the cube root throughout so i would be getting d suffix s is equal to my answer is 0 0.954 times of capital d that is the diameter of the hollow shaft it means the solid diameter is slightly less than the diameter external diameter for the hollow shaft so I'll quickly draw the diagram over here. So the diameter of solid shaft is slightly less than the external diameter of the hollow shaft as indicated by this value. Now to find the percentage saving in weight. It will be weight of solid shaft W suffix S minus the weight of hollow shaft divided by the weight of solid shaft because we are comparing it with solid into 100 now this weight is nothing but weight density of solid shaft into the volume of solid shaft similarly for the hollow
now weight density will get cancelled out because the material is same so volume becomes area of solid shaft into the length of solid shaft minus for hollow area of hollow shaft into the length of hollow shaft similarly into the denominator and since the material is same therefore the weight density of solid is equal to the weight density of hollow shaft because weight is weight density into volume now if even the length of the shafts are same because nothing is mentioned in the problem regarding the length or they have given the values so we can say that the length is also same so it gets cancelled finally what remains here is area of solid shaft which is pi by 4 ds square minus area of hollow which is pi by 4 capital D square minus small d square divided by area of solid which is pi by 4 ds square into 100 so pi by 4 will get cancelled from all sides ds in place of it I will be putting the value because ds is 0 0.954 times of capital D I will be putting this value so therefore the percentage saving in weight 0 0.954 capital D square minus here we have capital D square minus in place of small d as the relation is given it is 0 0.6 times of capital D for the hollow shaft so 0 0.6 times of capital D square and here the coefficient is 1 divided by again 0 0.954 capital D square and multiplying the answer by 100 so therefore on calculating this when we see over here capital D square is common from the numerator and the denominator so it gets cancelled out here we have 0 0.954 square minus into the bracket it is 1 minus 0 0.6 square divided by 0 0.95 4 square and into 100 so I'll write the final answer and my answer comes out to be it is 29.68 percent so that is the percentage reduction in weight that is if we are using a hollow shaft in place of the solid shaft we are getting a total reduction of 29.68 percent in the weight and that was the problem at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.